It has been a very early and active tropical season already. The 2020 hurricane season is underway. We just had Cristobal the other day. That is the earliest we ever got to the sea name in history. So tonight would be a good night to review some of the stages of tropical development. First up on the tropical weather outlook, a disturbance gets an X on the map, an area to watch. About 100 of these pop up every season. When the Hurricane Center upgrades to an invest with a number, some special parameters kick in. Special tropical computer model runs, the so-called spaghetti maps, increased satellite surveillance, and if needed, the hurricane hunters start flying missions to the system. When the system acquires a closed pressure circulation, it becomes a depression. Winds are 39 miles per hour. Regular advisories begin from the Hurricane Center four times a day. When the winds reach 40 miles per hour, the system gets a name and becomes a tropical storm. Category 1 hurricane status begins at 75 miles per hour, but when the winds reach 111 miles per hour, a hurricane is considered to be a major hurricane. And when the winds reach 157 miles per hour or higher, it's classified as a Category 5 catastrophic hurricane. That's extremely rare, but it happened in October 2018 when Michael made landfall with 160 mile an hour winds. So, what will the rest of the hurricane season be like? Will there be a full-fledged hurricane crossing this coastline this year? The hurricane season's brand new, less than two weeks old, and it continues till November 30th. From Orange Beach, this is Blue Water Chief Meteorologist Rich Thomas for the Alabama News Network.